While many people were displaced from the recent wildfires, so too were a large number of animals. Today, Blake Allen spoke with officials about which species were affected the most. Blake? Lee, one of the animals experts are worried about was reintroduced to parts of the state about 10 years ago. As fire crews continue to fight wildfires across the state of Oregon, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife is now starting to address concerns about potential wildlife loss. While officials and experts tell me that animals like deer and elk are able to flee such events and adapt afterwards, they do say there are some species that may be devastated. Central Oregon State Wildlife Biologist Corey Heath is concerned about the recently introduced mountain goat population in the Central Cascades. Mountain goats are not very mobile. They're very habitat specific. Um, the bulk of the population is on these isolated little cliff faces scattered throughout the forest and, and they're very closely associated with vertical rock habitat. So if a fire is coming, they don't have a lot of other of that habitat close by to escape to or out of the range of the fire. Also on the mind of ODFW is possible loss of fish populations. These affected by the aftermath of the fires. After you have a wildfire like that, there's always a risk of mudslides and d debris flow, and that can cause, you know, those localized die-offs and, sh you know, change water chemistry, turbidity, and all that sort of thing. Heath says for some species, there can be positive effects of wildfire. You know, they produce a lot of early, early cereal stages, uh, forage conditions, which, which the deer and elk love. So, um, I mean, I know the, these fires were catastrophic, but at least up at the higher elevations, uh, they, they do have the potential to do some good things for deer and elk habitat. Fire ecologist Lisa Ellsworth says now is the time for some animals to come in and start the rebuilding process. Um, the first things we usually see out there are um, woodpeckers are one of the important ones and a lot of them have actually been in decline in recent years because there hasn't been a lot of fire and they need those um, big standing dead trees. So they'll go, you know, evacuate out holes in the in the snags and they'll leave that that hole behind and other animals will actually start using it. So some of our um, small mammals will come in things like songbirds will come in um, and they'll use that cavity and in using it they'll deposit seeds in their um, feces that they leave behind um, and those seeds will start to grow some of the the early plants we'll also start to see some pollinators early on odfw says there have been no documented cases of fires wiping out entire populations or species Lee, at, these, at this point, these are just concerns of ODFW. Crews will still need to go out and assess. Now back to you.